Today is the first official day at the Dodge County Fair. Today I'm joined by Dodge County Sheriff Dale Schmidt. Dale, thanks for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, it is an action-packed day with so many things happening, judging our Badger State truck and tractor pulls later tonight, and so much more. We'll get into that schedule, but first, Sheriff Schmidt, tell me just a brief intro of who you are. Well, I've been the Dodge County Sheriff for 10 years. I've been in law enforcement since 2000, so 24 years. <laughs> um, and I uh, love my job, love doing what I do every single day. Uh, I get to uh, serve some of the greatest people in the country and, and uh, come out and do great things out at the fair, keep people safe and, and uh, making them uh, feel secure and it, at the uh, greatest events we have in Dodge County every year. Mm -hmm. Now you have a booth right here at the, the fair. Tell me about what fairgoers can expect here. Well, we love to be front and center when you come to the fair, again, to make sure you feel safe, to make sure that uh, you can have a good interaction with us. Um, we love to build relationships with people. <laughs> it's not just about coming out and, and uh, looking for people doing bad things. Uh, we want to have a, a, a really good relationship and, and have fun out here with everybody. Um, so a bunch of my staff are going to be out here. We'll have our, our uh, tent set up right behind us, behind our emer new emergency management uh, uh, command vehicle here. Um, we're going to do kit IDs. I'll, I'll show you about those in a little bit. Uh, um, we, uh, my, my deputies will be out here. We'll have a canine out here, I'm sure, at some point during the week for you to say hi. Um, and, and so my people will be walking around. Um, don't be afraid to, to say hi. And I always like to say this. Don't worry about me so much. It's my staff. Thank my staff uh, for all the work that they do out here um, and, and every day. They do fantastic work. So uh, uh, we really do appreciate being out here and, and uh, having fun with everybody else. Well, it's good to know that the fairgrounds is safe at all points of the, the day, and so how fun. Yeah. Now, to really get into the fair this morning is a lot of ju judging for our junior fair exhibitors, and from the hogs, um, they'll start here this morning to the beef. So much more. Have you gotten out to any of those shows before in the past? I usually don't make it into the judging, but during the week, I know they've got fantastic shows. Uh, I, I know they've got stuff for kids, for adults, um, and, and some really cool things to see out here with all the new, uh, uh, with all the, new, the exhibits out here, and, and really a great way to get there now with a brand new road right in front of them. So, um, no, it's uh, it's absolutely a, a, a tremendous time to, to see those kids who work so hard, especially through 4-H, uh, to uh, raise their animals, and, and, and they're really proud of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's just so much happening that it really just celebrates the youth in our community. So thanks for touching on that. We also have the Junior Fair Vegetable and Clothing and Cake Decorating Projects being judged in the Youth Building. If you want to just learn about what are they being judged about, we have some really competitive entries. Cake decorating and photography, especially in the Junior Fair. We also have some open class judging happening. The furnishing, the flowers, the honey, the crops. And our new crops portion um, just under the grandstands and then photography later in the day in that building there's some beef showmanship happening this morning so just a lot packed this morning are you what what, are, what will you be up to this morning trying to get everything settled well this morning yeah we're trying to get all of our staff ready to rock and roll out here and and do some final uh, touches on the security portion of it um, hope to, to actually come back out this afternoon and start enjoying the fair, walking around <laughs> and talking with the people. Uh, still got to do some work here this morning before I can get to enjoying the fair. Mm -hmm. Yep. This afternoon what we have going on is the open class photography, the sheep show. So if you just go down a few more barns, the beef show will be in the farm progress show and the sheep show will be similar to where the hogs are at. We also have our explorers showing in the youth building, so that's one step closer, one step up from Clover Buds before they're an official 4-H member able to do a lot of other projects. We also have the lamb showmanship, and, and we also, in the morning, we have the beef showmanship. And then tonight, we have the Badger State Truck and Tractor Pulls. Is that something you look forward to? A lot of people love coming <laughs> to see those. Um, I, I, I'm hoping to be able to get my son out here. He loves the truck and tractor pulls. Um, it, it's a lot of fun to uh, watch all those uh, individuals compete out there and, and uh, see some really unique vehicles that you just don't see during the year typically mm -hmm. so yeah, it'll be a lot of fun yeah so tonight is the first entertainment of the of the week and so it may be a late night for some fair goers mm -hmm. safety wise what should people know um, about it th this evening 
uh, th this evening and, and really all through the week. It goes for the entire week. Is is uh, well, everybody to be real safe. I know that you can come on out, have a good time. You can have some adult beverages uh, if you're over 21 years old, um, and uh, then be safe when when uh, you're leaving. Um, always have that designated driver. We don't ever hear that enough. Um, sometimes people think. I hear some of the strangest things. I drive better when I've been drinking. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not the case. I see far too many cars that are wrapped around trees at, at, at night and, and uh, just not a good uh, recipe. It's a recipe for disaster. And we want everybody to have fun. And I always tell everybody, I want them to make it home safely to their family at the end of every single day. Um, so be real, real careful. Um, kids out here, there's gonna be a lot of people. Um, and uh, so I think this is a great time to highlight our Kid ID program. It's absolutely free. <laughs> it's like a little driver's license for the kids. I mean, it, it has cool. a picture of them. We will print it out here for them at the fair. Has their address, uh, um, their birth date, uh, their weight, height. Really, the best purpose for this is what happens if your child goes missing out here? And all these people, you're trying to find your child. Parents go frantic. We have it happen every single year. And if a parent has already had this done right at our booth, right behind us, just go on up. You fill out a little sheet. You. Uh, uh, give them the information you have a picture taken we will print this out free of charge and give it to you now your child goes missing hand us this and we now know exactly who we're looking for with all the descriptions that we need to get it out to our staff really really quickly um, so a great free program that we have out here um, that's one uh, one thing that that, that uh, we, we we have for you um, certainly we will have our deputies out here walking around um, and uh, trying to keep everybody safe as well. Um, and uh, anything else comes up through the night, uh, we'll be here to handle any issues that come up. I want to go back to the designated driving and yeah. drinking. It, it's great to have fun, but to do it responsible. Compared to years past, like how important is it? Uh, probably maybe a lot of citations after, mm. after the affair that happened. Yeah, yeah, I, I put together some numbers and uh, I did it over a five year period. I've got these, this really nice uh, colorful chart here. Uh, from 2019 to tw 2023. And uh, we, we don't have a ton of citations, uh, but uh, our calls for service typically through the week out here at the fair while the fair is going on, we have somewhere in the area of 25 different incidents that we have, have, ha uh, have to deal with. Um, they go anywhere from disorderly conduct, again, alcohol plays a factor in many of those, um, underage drinking um, and uh, underage drinking OWI type in incidents out in the parking lots. Um, we usually only issue about 10 citations a year, which seems like a lot when you say it, uh, but uh, it, it's, it's not a lot. It's usually very uh, calm. A lot of those are underage drinking or, or disorderly conduct, usually bar time. Um, and uh, But then OWIs. OWIs, uh, if you know me, you know that's a big uh, uh, a sticking point for me. I don't want people out on the roads drinking and driving. I've seen far too many people lose their lives and family members because of that. Um, and typically during the fair, countywide, um, we average about 14 or 15 arrests during the fair every single year. Um, we did have one outlier in 2022 where we had 27 seven OWIs during the fair countywide. Um, and so we know people like to have fun, but we can't have people out on the roads drinking and driving. Our staff will be out, they'll be working hard. They will be stopping people around the fair, outside of the fair, um, out throughout the county and, uh, and, and making arrests. And we don't want people's day to end like that. So make sure you get that designated driver. Comparing this week to other weeks throughout the year, is this one of your most busiest times, would you say? I would say, yeah, especially in the evening hours, we get a lot of traffic, especially around this area, obviously. There's <laughs> a lot of traffic. You've got thousands of people that are driving around in um, the fairgrounds, and, and so it got, does get very busy, um, usually through uh, through the evening till about 2 a.m. Um, it, it, it's, it, it's busy for us. Um, we always have ups and downs through the years, but, but this is constantly a busy time where we've got a lot more staff working. Mm -hmm. Well, this is all good information to know and when fairgoers are here, they'll see this. Is this relatively new? What can, yeah. what, what is all this about behind us? So this big vehicle behind us, uh, it's, it's uh, RV shaped, but it's not an RV, trust <laughs> me. Um, this is our new incident command vehicle that we're, we use at any major incidents. And um, we say it's new, but it's new to us. It actually came from Green, Green Bay. Green Bay PD had this and they put it up on auction. We were able to get a, a real deal on this one. Um, a new one would cost us about $1.4 million. Ooh. 
Uh, we bought this for 80,000, 87,000. Um, and uh, we got a grant for $400,000 to equip it. So we're still working on getting that all done, um, but uh, really um, it's, it's a uh, very cost-effective means of being able to manage incidents. We've had it out already at, at numerous incidents throughout the county here in the last couple of months. Uh, you pay, paying attention to the news, you know we've been quite busy, um, and it keeps us uh, warm in the winters, cool in the summertime, gives us a place to work, um, and a fantastic vehicle, and we bring it out here at the fair. If we have to do anything, uh, if we have to uh, deal with any incidents, we can go right inside here. Uh, we can do incident reports. We can do our uh, statement forms, um, interview people if we need to. And, and uh, so it's a great uh, location for us to, uh, to get a lot of those things done. Pretty cool vehicle and pretty sharp. Yeah. When, when you just come into the fairgrounds, you'll see it right away just, just under the fairgrounds or by, by the grandstand, yeah. I mean. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, come on out, check, it, check us out, and, and uh, see our, our uh, new used vehicle, um, and uh, cost effective, and we're very proud of it. Not only do we have our, our police here, but we also have our EMS and our firefighters, too, just to help serve the community. Yeah, and yeah. so our firefighters and our EMS, are, they, they pick a uh, day each day of the fair, and they come out right here next to us. We have the first aid, our EMS, but our fire department usually are out, out uh, um, by the youth building, um, and uh, they're here should we have any incidents on the track, uh, on the fairgrounds, and, and uh, they do a lot of PR stuff too, and um, so it's great to have them here. Again, another form of public safety to keep everybody safe while you're out here at the fair, and thank you to all the volunteer fire departments and EMS to do that, that come out and do that. Um, they're not getting paid for their time out here. They're just coming out here to make sure everybody's safe, and I and, uh, really appreciate all the work that they do as well. In addition to that, we also have our sheriff cadets that are out here. Um, they uh, used to be the explorers, now they're the cadets. They're that age 14 to 21 group that, that volunteer to learn more about law enforcement. Well, every year since I started that program back in 2009, I've had them out here at the fair, and they patrol the parking lots. They're looking for things that might be going on and to radio to us, but really uh, their goal is to serve the public. Um, somebody needs a ride and they can't get around, they got the gators, throw them in, in the front seat, they can jump in the back and give them a ride into the fairgrounds. Um, we get a lot of people that lose their cars in the, at, later on mm -hmm. the night. They're trying to find their cars. We will help you find your car. Um, <laughs> you lock your keys in your car, let them know, um, and uh, we can see if we can find a locksmith for you. And, and uh, uh, sometimes if your car won't start. Um, those, you'll see them out there, they aren't gators. They have usually a green shirt um, with a uh, bright yellow vest on. Um, so uh, they're here to help you as well. Is there anything else that fairgoers should know about safety and what you're doing here at the fair? Boy, you know, I think we covered a lot here today. Yeah. Um, I, I think we covered the vast majority of it, but the, the, the biggest thing is if something happens that causes you concern while you're out here, let us know right away. Don't wait. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you lose, a, you lose your child. Um, they run off somewhere. If you let us know, the sooner you let us know, the sooner we can find them. Um, we're, I, I want to knock on wood. I don't have any near me, but 100% be able, able to find uh, children when, when they go missing out here. And, and, but the sooner we can do that, the sooner we can put minds at ease. Mm -hmm. Wow, a lot to know and glad that there's so much here just to make sure fairgoers are safe. So going into more of your background to the fair, what's your connection to the Dodge County Fair? Well, born and raised in Beaver Dam, <laughs> love it in, in Beaver Dam, Wapan, love this area, love coming to the fair. Uh, but above and beyond that, uh, certainly my connection is law enforcement, but I'm also a cook in the kitchen. Um, so you'll see me tomorrow on Thursday. Well, you might not see me, you gotta look through the screens. I'll be in the back <laughs> cooking the brats, the burgers um, at the Rotary Food Stand. Um, and uh, I like to say it's the uh, most reasonable fair food out here uh, as far as price goes, delicious food. Um, if you like the food, tell a friend. If you don't, um, I don't know, you were, you were next door at, at, uh, at one of the other food vendors. But um, <laughs> we've got uh, hamburgers, we got uh, cheeseburgers, we got brats, we got french fries, we got soda. Um, a lot of people always looking for water. Let me tell you, the most cost effective water out here, stop and see us at the Rotary stand. Um, and, and so uh, those who know me know I do a lot with the Rotary. I do Rotary light stuff uh, in Swan Park, putting up those lights. We'll have some flyers out here um, for that if anybody wants to sponsor any of that. But um, law enforcement and Rotary, that's, uh, that's my connection to the fair. And my wife is out here too at her stand as well. So out, <laughs> out, out in the vendor booth for Cassandra Schmidt, you gotta say her name. She's not the sheriff's wife. But she actually has a name, so Cassandra Schmidt. But uh, yeah, those, those are my connections to the uh, to the fair, and uh, I tell you what, my kids are looking forward to the rides. Okay, yeah. man, and there's so many wristband discounts on yeah. the midway, so they may right. have to get through there and maybe bring dad along. I'm sure they'll, they've taken me up in uniform before, so okay. we'll we'll, uh, we'll make it happen. <laughs> wow, and 
going back, fair food. What's yeah. what's your favorite fair food here? Got us go with the uh, the foot long corn dog. Mm. Every year, it's a staple here. Um, lots of great food. I, I like to sample many of them through the week, um, <laughs> but uh, that that has been uh, kind of my longtime favorite. Uh, um, and uh, you know, there's there's plenty others too. Uh, the, the pork producers right right here, right next to our stand, always do a fantastic job. Um, I mean, just so many great uh, options out here. But it's that corn dog. I love it. This week will be packed with a lot happening. What's your, what are you looking forward to this week? Boy, that's a, that's a really good <laughs> question. Um, I, I haven't been over by the Legion booth. I don't know if they have the, uh, the Buck and Bronco out there. I don't know if that's they here. May. I heard they may. They so may we'll, bring it back. You, you may have to take a ride there. I did that a couple of years ago. The last <laughs> time it was here, I rode it in full uniform, and I, I gotta say, I dismounted quite well. Um, people said that I stepped <laughs> off. I was thrown off, but it was uh, it was very graceful. So hopefully we get the <laughs> opportunity to do that again. I'm gonna have to borrow somebody's hat though. Oh, okay, so, yeah. man. Okay, cool. And then here at, at the fair, what should fair goers expect when they come here? Like, what's something you want them to know as they come here to the Dodge County Fair? Just be friendly. Um, I'll tell you what, those uh, I believe it's usually the Kiwanis working the gates out there taking the tickets. Um, they've got a tough job. It's tough because they're out in the sun all day, um, or the rain, or whatever elements uh, the good Lord sends us that particular day. Um, it's uh, it, it, be patient with them um, and uh, go along with the process when you're coming in. I know sometimes the lines get a little bit long, but uh, they do their best to get you through as quickly as possible. Be patient with them when you come on in. Um, just just be courteous to everybody. That's that's my number one piece of advice. Um, be be uh, be careful out in those parking lots, especially with the kids. A lot of people riding around, driving around out there, um, and just. Be patient, be patient. If you're patient, everything's gonna go well. Mm -hmm. Very true. Well, thanks for joining Sheriff Schmidt. I really appreciate you joining and coming on. There is just so much to enjoy at the Dodge County Fair. From judging this morning with our youth and open class exhibitors to a dog obedience show at the Farm Progress Arena. And tonight here at the Grandstands, the Badger Stage Truck and Tractor Pull. But you can come and enjoy the tractors and trucks will be coming all across the state and even this county as well. So a lot of fun to be had so come on out um i hope you co can come join us i'm your 2024 dodge county fairest of the fair michelle stangler hope to see you here